Good morning. It was a wet, wet night. It wasn't raining, but the humidity was super high. And it should rain today. I don't know, it's, it can't be a pretty shitty day, but we will see. And we're here in this little town. Quite picturesque. And from here you can take boats or I think also rent kayaks to get to Gekova. This is a sunken port city at one of the islands back there, I think. It would be really interesting, but if we would stop at every cool stuff, then it would take us like five months to take the trail, I think. <laughs> Flat stages on the Likia Yolu are not necessarily easy ones, as this day showed us. Even if you don't make a lot of altitude, you will have to climb a lot. And despite the bad weather, the Likian flora and fauna did not stop to amaze us. Check out this incredible butterfly orchid. From time to time we find those needles. And this is from porcupines. Um, we are already in their native range, I think. are also now kind of native to Italy, but they were brought there by the Romans. And here in the Middle East, until I think India, Bangladesh maybe even, this is the native range. We also passed the ruins of ancient Lycian city Apelei, being inhabited around 400 BC until 700 AD. So we had the first shower, nothing too bad, I'm more wet because I'm sweating, uh, but all the rocks are slippery now this it was enough well okay but we're nearly up we're nearly up it's not so bad just hope that there is a proper way or road when we go down the hill again because getting down a slippery path like this So we were allowed to seek some shelter from the rain, um, but actually there is no rain coming, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna go for it. We try to find our camping spot for today, and only after that there should be rain. So let's let's yalla. <laughs> the way down was more adventurous than we hoped for, but hear yourself. Okay. The sun is out, we made it, we have a quite nice camp spot next to the sea. It was a tough walk down because there were a shitload of shepherd dogs and usually I'm the person who says don't be afraid of them. But there were two dogs that were close to us barking with their teeth out. They, were, they tried to corner us actually, which was... This was the point where I got scared because I've never never seen something like this like dogs cornering me dogs trying to corner us I've, I've never experienced something like this and usually if you only attempt to throw a stone at them they are gone but they like we threw stones at them and they didn't the fucking care not at all wow and then right after this a huge cloud came we were super wet and so the last part is along the, the, the coast, along the cliffs, uh, or cliffs, yeah, it's a, it's a stony hiking trail and it took forever with the slippery stones. Wow, and now as soon as we arrived here, the sun came out, which is great. And we have some food now and there is a very friendly dog over there and there are some other friendly dogs over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. Hard day, really hard day. 
<laughs> Good morning everybody. Look at this fantastic view we have this morning. The night was quite challenging again with oh, oh my god <laughs> with a lot of rain also some thunder cells passing by but they didn't come too close luckily well a lot of our stuff is wet i also left my other camera the one that isn't waterproof outside um yeah so let's hope it will dry again but look at this wow nice This stage was another reminder on how beautiful and diverse the stage is, as well as the biodiversity on the Lycan Way can be. I kind of led stage again, but as just the other day, the paths that follow the rocky coastline are often not so easy to walk and you will have to climb a lot. Especially the part where we had view of the Greek island of Castellorizzo was wild, windy, with a lot of high steps, a real great adventure, where one better uses hands to stay safe and stable. On the shoreline of the Bay of Kash, we find the remains of another Lycian harbour, Sebeda, carved into the wall of the cliffs. Here we even needed a bit of help of the rope to get this short but compared to the rest of the trail difficult stretch done. Camera works! Very nice. Okay, I think we're on the steepest road in whole Turkey. I don't know if you can somehow see it, but it's... Oh, well, look, there's a cat. <laughs> um, it's super steep. It's super steep. And today we're gonna walk up even steeper areas because we're gonna go up there somewhere. We're only gonna walk eight kilometers or something. Um, then we're gonna set up our tent um, because after this climb we will be totally fucked <laughs> um, that's not the only reason tomorrow there's a big chance on really bad weather and being up there with bad weather is not so nice so probably tomorrow we're gonna just stay there check into an accommodation and continue the day uh, the day after. There are caves in the cliff that you will see while hiking up. Offward, they are not really special. What is special is the amazing view of Kash, the bay and surrounding islands. The rest of the stage was mainly easy and flat and while we already reached our camp spot not long after noon, we enjoyed the sunny afternoon. I found a Swiss army knife about a year ago. This amazing little multi-tool has a little saw in it and I couldn't be happier about that. If you walked the leak in way short after us and found well cut and stacked firewood at some spots, you are welcome. Subscribe if you want to say thank you. Also feel free to subscribe if you like this video. No hiking today. It's just thunder and now the rain slowly sets in. There have been uh, 
lightning all over the skyline more or less thunder the whole time of course now when I record it no, there you go a quiet one <laughs> there's a little squirrel friend <laughs> so yeah actually we should walk over the mountain range on like a, around 1000 meters the whole day or for the next three days we will be in this range in about 1000 meters and it's just no fun it's uh i'm not really scared of thunders but we had a lot of close calls actually in the last few months and years so no interest in it to be honest um okay good morning well the thunder passed by we spent yesterday in a Rather fancy accommodation, not too far from the trail, but still like three kilometers that we already had to pass. Um, it was really nice, a really nice place, and we had a great, great breakfast. Yeah, overall, we are at half time of the trail for us, I think. There should be the water, and it looks good. Yes, still here. On this day we passed Old Lycian military base of Phelos. By the way, your screen is absolutely fine. I did something wrong with my camera here. We just crossed these single lonely Cedros Libani, a Lebanese cedar. And um, here this tree stands pretty, pretty lonely, maybe back there on the slope there are more. Maybe one reason why they are on this hill there are not so many, Amy just told me, that the people that lived in ancient uh, Phelos, one of the main incomes was uh, selling the wood of the cedar, so maybe because of this reason there are still not so many cedar trees growing here. The whole species is listed as vulnerable on the red list and that's quite sad because it's a really really beautiful beautiful tree in my opinion. This rather alpine plateau we were walking on this day was actually really beautiful with much change of landscape, many abandoned buildings to discover and here and there an encounter with friendly shepherds or animals. Before we arrived in the next town, we experienced one of those moments of incredible Turkish hospitality. An open mind and heart for a total stranger. We just passed these guys, they had barbecue and they gave me half of a chicken. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, the, 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 the seasoning is wow, <laughs> super nice people. They were insisting that we, that we try their, their food. <laughs> We opted for a little house for the night and more or less booked blind without looking at what it offers as it was the only accommodation in this town. So you can imagine we were surprised in the most positive way when we saw the whirlpool. Good morning, we are leaving this beautiful beautiful house. <laughs> um, it was really nice, unexpected luxury. Yeah, so the next few days should be rather relaxed, I think. We're gonna make some shorter days. Um, today we go like 12, 13 kilometers to Sierra Belen. Not much meters in altitude. We're gonna leave this nice little valley and go over this mountain range back there or hills. Ah, let's see. Sun won't be showing too often today.
so I was just making a short about this uh, Quercus coccifera with these very small spiky leaves. Uh, you can quite uh, confuse it with Quercus ilex um, and also of course with ilex aquifolium. There we go. Um, but these two species, species don't grow here. But here there should be only Quercus coccifera. And now look at this guy. Here in the eastern Mediterranean region they can grow up to 12-13 meters. And this is a massive, massive tree. Look at the crazy trunk. Actually there are two trees grown into one. But holy hell does it look beautiful. <laughs> so while walking here, you need to be really careful <laughs> to don't fall into these holes. For some reason some have way more water than the others. Looks actually quite clean. These day senders offer quite easy flat paths with a bunch of meetings hey. with shepherds and their luckily friendly dogs. Amy also found an incredible amount of fossils and mountain crystals and spent about an hour observing them. We share a passion for nature, but stones are what makes her really happy. In the afternoon we checked into this guest house owned by a nice family where many old radios, writers, cameras and other stuff is showcased. Good morning, we are having our second breakfast. <laughs> That's, that's something that just happens in Turkey, you know, you don't book breakfast and you just get it. <laughs> it would be nice. Mm, a lot of stuff. The day started with a steep climb through a forest which suffered a wildfire not too long ago. It continues through the small town of Bezirgan, followed by the rocky and partly steep descent down to the seaside town of Kalkan. Before we entered the town, we saw the most amazing part of this stage. After meeting some more tortoise friends, we saw some wild goats. So, after actually intense research, I'm still not sure if this is a Bezoa goat or not. Please, dear viewers, if you know which species of acrobatic rock climbers we have here, feel free to tell me. So, we are apparently in a wildlife and wildflower heaven. Not only have we seen a shitload of tortoises and these beautiful ibex, but there are so many orchids. Also this one here. So many different species. It's really, really great. Look at this, how many. I think all of them are Orchis Anatolica. Also back there, nearly everywhere. Haven't seen them for a while now, but yeah, I think they prefer these coastal regions.
Merhaba my friends, good morning. We are leaving the town of Kalkan and start with the next stage. Um, bad news, there is quite a high chance that we will have rain and maybe even thunder. Actually very frustrating to be honest. Just rain doesn't exist anymore. Every time it rains it immediately turns into thunder which makes the whole situation way worse, way more dangerous. And it really sucks and it's frustrating for us as hikers. Anyway, yesterday we had another pause day because I needed uh, good Wi-Fi because I had a job interview which was very successful. Let's see what today brings. We have seven days of hiking left. There are not so many accommodations anymore, so I think we're gonna camp for the next week, if the weather allows it, of course. So, yeah, let's hope for a kinda good day. And yalla, let's go. Because of the weather situation, we decided to follow the road instead of the Lycian Way. We had the oncoming thunder and rain always in our eyesight, so we could see when it was time to seek shelter. And yet again, the crazy hospitality of the Turkish people showed again. So the weather looks better again. It was pissing and thundering for two hours or something. And we were really lucky. You see the little house, the restaurant behind us. Um, it's actually close, but the owner and uh, co-owner, his friend, I'm not sure, uh, they sit inside and they they waved us in. And yeah, they speak both very good English, and we had really nice chats. We get we got coffee and a little bit of food and super super friendly people again we were just super lucky and now the worst part of the rain and thunder should be gone and we are so now we are getting closer to the ruins of uh, of Xantos is it okay? <laughs> and there we hope that we can set up our tent so let's go So we put up our tent right next to the ruins of Xantos and there are a lot of dogs. They are cute but also they smell because they are wet. Oh god damn it. <laughs> and I think they belong to us now. Well and here we make another cut. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe so you can enjoy the next and last part of the trail and check out our other adventures. I hope to see you next time. Bye!